Mitt Romney and African and American women voters, I should say. Dick Morris on that. And later, Jimmy J.J. Walker and Dennis Miller both have... Personal story segment tonight, you may remember Jimmy J.J. Walker, who hit it big in the TV sitcom Good Times. Mr. Walker currently has a book out called Dino Might, his signature phrase. We spoke a few days ago. In uh, studying your uh, rise from a poor kid, all right, to national TV, Good Times, it was interesting to see that you made it on your own. You're an icon. Everybody knows uh, Good Times. You should not agree to, girl. Well, you know, I'm known as the Sultan of Smooth. <laughs> and you separate then from many, many African Americans who support Barack Obama. You're not a real big supporter of his. How did that happen? Barack Obama is more like a, uh, a, a, a Tony, Robert, Tony Roberts type of guy. You feel real good and you're happy and everything, and then you go home and you realize there's a foreclosure sign on your door, and you just go, Wait a minute, I just had this great meeting with this guy. He made me feel real good. And I don't think he's a bad guy. I don't think he's a good guy for the job we have to do. When you say that, other African Americans are going to go, hey, come on. You just can't blindly vote for somebody just because they are your. Sometimes, even a brother, you have to let him go. And he's not doing the gig. Did you vote for him first time around? I never voted for him. Now, when African Americans say to you, hey, you're betraying your race, or because you know there's a lot of racial stuff around President Obama, you say? I say, well, let's look at the job that he's done. And I go back to the old Reagan slogan, how are you doing better now than you were four years from ago? So you just keep it policy. You I don't keep get it policy. It. I, right. I just think that he is not the guy. Okay. Jay Leno, I've been on the program a dozen times or so. I don't really know Jay, but he's been respectful to me, nice to me. He's a great guy. He does, his, he does a fine program. But you feel that, that he's changed a bit. He's changed. He's let us down. We all started literally within the last, you know, same five year period. President, 30 million people are not out of work. 30 million people are just in between jobs. <laughs> that's like a lifeguard saying to a guy that's drowning, you're not drowning, you're just in between land. <laughs> so you came up with Leno. Yeah, and then Jay worked for me uh, as a writer, along with David Letterman and many others, Louis Anderson, a lot of other people. Where were you when he was writing for you? I was on our show when we were in Los Angeles. Okay, so you, you, he, they were writing one-liners for yeah. you. Criminals now have their own TV show. America's most wanted. <laughs> Criminals are watching themselves every week. Like, look, there's bubble. So how did Leno change? He changed in terms of bringing on new talent, which is that spot, which is Johnny Carson, Jack Parr, uh, Steve Allen. He has not broken in his 20-something years on the air. He has not broken one major act. But, you know, it's a different time now, and the ratings pressure is so intense that a lot but of Jay times... Jay is number one. Jay can do whatever he wants. See, if you're Bon Jovi, you ride on Air Force One with the president. That's pretty cool. Joe Biden, he had to drive up in a van with the guys who sang Who Let the Dogs Out. He so if you can tell me that 10 minutes a week is going to destroy your whole career, I'm not buying that. All I say to Jay Leno is, do what was done for you. That's all. And Jay used to come on every five to six weeks on The Letterman Show. I got him on the, on the Merv Griffin Show a billion times, and that's what happens. It doesn't hurt you if you bring on a new guy because people want to see somebody new. And you have talent people and you have all that kind of stuff. You pick out your people that you like. When Johnny Carson was the host, we didn't know Johnny Carson. He was a high, exalted, Vatican leader. But when Jay Leno took over, it was one of us. And we said, okay, our guy is in, yay! And it would be like Bill Clinton getting in and closing the door to James Carville. Okay. That's the way we felt. The author of Dynamite, Good Times, Bad <laughs> Times, Our Times, a memoir. Jimmy, thanks for coming. Thank you. We appreciate it. <laughs> we come right back. It will be 